A curtain of cloud drifts above the Pacific coast of Australia to reveal the Great Barrier Reef. Located off the northeastern shore, extending to almost 1,300 miles, the Great Barrier Reef is a spectacular scene of natural beauty. But it is the underwater life that makes this place so special. This underwater park is a phenomenon, alive and teeming with an unbelievable storehouse of marine life, breeding, surviving, and dying amid the Pacific coral. The Great Barrier Reef is made up of more than 300 varieties of coral. Some of it can be very deceptive. Although it looks harmless enough, it can conceal all sorts of hazards, like this gigantic sea urchin. Out of the blue, a giant shadow appears on the water. It's a manta ray, measuring up to 20 feet across. The ray can weigh up to two tons. At low tide, the manta ray will glide over the coral, dusting it to disturb the plankton it needs for food. It filters massive volume through an open, gulping mouth. The ray is a solitary fish. If it's disturbed in its own territory, the ray can turn into a punishing foe. It will pursue an intruder relentlessly and chase it off by biting its tail. On the ocean floor, disturbed, a ray leaves its sandy bed. Fish living on the Great Barrier Reef display an extraordinary variety of shapes and colors. The vivid trumpet fish, like a mobile yellow line. This fish, wrapped in what appears to be a cotton tube, is unique in the underwater park. It's a parrotfish, and each evening it exudes a mucus envelope about itself, which traps its scent and keeps it from being detected by nocturnal hunters. Now another citizen of the coral park. This female turtle is swimming against the tide towards the beach. She heads for land to lay her eggs. She weighs at least 220 pounds. Some green turtles can reach weights of 300 pounds and measure three feet in length. She hauls herself to dry sand and digs a hole in which to lay her eggs. More than 400 eggs can be laid in batches of approximately 100. When the eggs are laid, she carefully covers them. It's an instinctive maternal task, which could mean she has to shift more than 450 pounds of sand and coral before leaving them. After all her efforts, our turtle laboriously returns to the sea. The salt water will again refresh and soothe her cuts and aching muscles. A moonlit December night sees the crystal clear water turned into a shimmering soup. Coral is spawning. Millions of eggs and sperm burst forth like a gigantic underwater firework display. They bump into each other and 24 hours later, minute larvae form and float away on the tide. In the depths, the Baramundi take on the appearance of a Dalmatian dog. They may look funny, but to the Baramundi, the spots are an effective camouflage, confusing to an enemy.
Everything has to be on its guard. A jellyfish is caught in the coral. Small, cleaner fish take advantage of its predicament. A shark prowls the reef for its next meal. In the heart of the Great Barrier Reef, deception is the order of the day. A bluefish can easily melt into the hazy blue water. All the creatures have evolved some way of blending into the background. The lobster can make a fast getaway to an effective hiding place. The false eyes on the tail of this butterfly fish confuse its enemies. They will bite its tail instead of its head, which gives it a chance to escape. There's one resident who strikes fear into even human intruders, the stonefish. Each of its dorsal spines has a pair of poison glands which can be fatal to humans. It seems to crawl on the elbows of its fins, and then suddenly, rather like an insect, it opens butterfly wings in vivid colors. The Great Barrier Reef is a Pandora's box of surprises. Wherever you turn, there's another trick another illusion. The pipefish lies hiding on the top of another fish until the prey it seeks comes into view. A moray eel with the only facial expression nature allows it. In a hostile encounter it opens its wide mouth as if to bite. Its mouth can open extremely wide, allowing it to ingest as much food as possible. This can seem frightening, but in fact, it will eat gently. A solid wall of young fish fills the opening of a cave. This is the butterfly cod. It waves its fins in warning. It has an array of spines coated with a venomous mucus. They're like hypodermic needles filled with poison. They are, in fact, defenses. A mere brush against them will cause immediate and intense pain. Cardiac failure can then follow. The most beautiful inhabitant of the coral grove is the white shark, whose skin is spotted with black markings. It hides among the columns of coral on moss-covered shelves. Finally, it appears. Slender, elegant, like a marine fashion model in the latest creation. The leopard shark lounges on the seabed, posing for the camera, totally unthreatening. Finally, it departs with the same silent power with which it arrived. And the majesty of this beautiful fish leaves us with a vivid, unforgettable memory of Australia's Great Barrier Reef.